you the captain. Your crew said that they would send for you. They locked me in here and said that they would leave it to you to decide my fate. Aren't you going to say something? Yes, I'm a princess. I snuck aboard. I was in the village by the docks, and I saw your ship. I didn't realize it was a pirate ship, but I saw a crate, and so I climbed inside of it. Why? Well, that, that's a complicated question. Well, it's a long story, and I doubt you're interested in hearing about the troubles of a princess. Are you going to kill me? That depends on what. How much my kingdom loves me. I don't understand. I've been missing for a day now. They'll be sending guards into the village to search for me. If they haven't already. And I know more than a handful of people spotted me in town yesterday, so the palace guards will speak to those eyewitnesses and probably conclude I was kidnapped by pirates. They'll assume I'm being held for ransom, or... <laughs> That's your plan, isn't it? You're going to hold me for ransom. Suppose that's better than walking the plank. Well, my kingdom loves me very much. They'll give you anything you ask for. Gold, jewels, resources, their alliance should you ever need their help in the future. But I'll just escape again. And when I do, they'll look at you first. No, that's not a threat. I'm just letting you know. If you return me back to the palace for ransom, I'll simply run away again. And when the king and queen find my bed empty, they'll assume you kidnapped me again. Maybe you were after more money, or maybe you took a liking to me and want to keep me for yourself. And that could be problematic for you. That's right, you didn't kidnap me. I climbed aboard this ship willingly, without your knowledge, too, which makes you perfectly innocent. But, it'll be my word against yours. And who do you think my parents will believe? Their princess? Or a filthy pirate? Now I'm threatening you. <coughs> You're not going to kill me. I'm too valuable. I have a proposition. You let me stay on your ship. I'll work, too. 
I'll earn my keep. I could scrub the deck or repair the sails. I'm good at stitching. Or I could try my hand at cooking. Please let me stay. Because I, I don't want to go back. Are you really interested in my reasoning? Why does it matter? Fine. <laughs> to put it simply, I don't want to be a princess. Lately, I feel as though I cannot breathe. My entire life, I've been stuck inside the palace walls never seen anything. I've never done anything. I've always longed to see the world. To be free to make my own choices. Yesterday, I decided if I don't escape now, I probably never will. I'm sorry for the trouble that I've caused in sneaking aboard your ship. But if you let me stay, I promise I won't cause you any more. I can be useful. I overheard your crew talking earlier. They mentioned you're short a few crew members. Yes, I... I I want to be one of you. You're laughing at me. Is that so funny? You think I'm too... prissy, is that it? Not just because I'm small and dainty doesn't mean I can't be useful. Yes, I'm sheltered, but I'm also well-educated. Growing up in the palace, I had access to more books than I could ever read. I know how to read maps very well. I can sew, which wouldn't only be useful in patching up the sails, but also any injuries among your crew. And I'm sure there's more I could help out with. I'm a fast learner. Please, let me stay. I promise you won't regret it. What are you doing? Lifting my chin. Your hands are cold. You, you want me to ask again if I can stay? <laughs> Beg. I assume this is punishment for threatening you earlier. I already apologized, and I've already begged you to let me stay twice. Is that not enough? <laughs> Please, let me stay. Is that a yes? Thank you. Do you think the other crew members will mind that you're letting me stay? Before they sent you in to deal with me, they seemed rather excited at the thought of making me walk the plank. Will they be okay with me staying? They don't have much of a choice. Because you're the captain, of course. But our deal that doesn't mean you won't let anything bad happen to me.
And that's a promise, isn't it? <laughs> a pirate's word isn't worth much. Maybe not. But I'd feel better hearing you say it. Thank you. You don't talk like a pirate. The ones I've read about and heard stories of, they always seem so loud, vile, monstrous is a word I read a lot. Were you always a pirate? I'm sorry, I'm just curious. I figure if you're going to be my captain, it might be nice to know a little about you. Can't I? <laughs> really? You ran away from home too? And you had always loved the sea? So you became a pirate. Why not a sailor? It's essentially the same thing, isn't it? Just less criminal. No, that's true. I suppose not everyone can get by that easily. I'm not judging you. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. I never left the palace much. Just the occasional trip to the village by carriage. And whenever I did, I couldn't believe my eyes. So many children starving. So many families cold without shelter. So, one day, right before I was meant to take another trip into town, I had an idea. I snuck into the kitchen, and I stuffed as many pastries and berries and cheeses into my pockets as I could. And I handed them out to people who needed it. It was the least I could do. After seeing what it's like outside the palace, I could never really look at my kingdom the same way. We have more than enough food to spare, and yet we do nothing to help our people. So, you really ran away from home? Maybe we aren't so different after all. Can I ask you something? Does it ever get lonely being at sea? All you have is miles and miles and miles of ocean. Does that ever feel isolating? Again, I'm not trying to pry. I'm just... If I'm going to be staying here, I'd like to know what it's going to be like. Being stuck in the palace all the time felt isolating, but at least I had my lady-in-waiting to talk to. And a few of the guards were friendly. But here, all I'll have is the crew, and considering they wanted me thrown overboard 20 minutes ago, I doubt we'll be very good friends. Pirates don't have friends. 
Well, I know they must not braid each other's hair and talk about their feelings, but there must be some level of respect for each other, right? You're all each other has. So you're saying that at the drop of a hat, you'd toss one of your men overboard. Just like that. <laughs> you wouldn't think twice. So it's purely business? The only reason you keep any of your crew around is because they serve a purpose on your ship. And once they stop fulfilling that purpose, if they're no good to you anymore, if they sustain an injury and can no longer lower the sails or raise the anchor, they're gone. And they realize they mean so little to you. <laughs> wow, I... N nothing. Fine, well... All I was going to say was, wouldn't life be better if you actually liked them? Wouldn't it be less lonely? If you ever want someone to talk to, I'm here. You're not much of a talker. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Would I like a drink? Yes, please. I'm parched. Oh, that is not water. I assumed you were offering me water, but, um, maybe this will soothe my dry throat just the same. I've never had liquor before. Is it supposed to smell like that? <laughs> okay, okay. Here I go. Mmm. Interesting. <laughs> Quite different from what I'm used to. Mm, I will. I will get used to it. Your hand. No, the other one. You have a cut. How long has that been there? <laughs> you didn't notice. It looks fairly fresh. And to you, it might just be a scratch, but if I had had a cut half as bad as this back in the palace, I'd be bedridden for a month and spoon-fed tomato soup. Now, I'm not going to spoon-feed you tomato soup, but at least let me clean it. It'll give me a chance to show you that I can be useful. You don't care for being pampered. <laughs> well, then I'll do it as roughly as possible. You don't want it to get infected. Let me see. Hmm. Shh, I'm not wasting the liquor. <laughs> I used even less than I drank a minute ago. We have to clean it. Here, you can wrap your hand with part of my dress. This dress is too long for my liking anyway. There we go. Let me see it. Mm. 
Is that too tight? Okay, all done. You're welcome. You have to get back. Uh, yes, of course. Should I wait here or? Okay. I'll wait here for you. 